Jim, there's so much to talk about too. And then when you look at the squad that day in Northern Ireland have at the minute, a mixture of seasoned professionals and young talent coming through, which it's not coming through by accident. A lot of organisation in the IFA, including your own work as the elite performance director, certainly is paying dividends now. Yeah, it's still very early days in terms of what we're trying to achieve. And I have to say the manager deserves huge credit uh, and the IFA deserves huge credit. But importantly, the manager has huge input in that too. We recognise that we don't have a conveyor belt of talent coming through. So we have to, we have to utilise the resources that we do have and we recognise that we, in order for us to be successful we're going to have to bring through uh, youth and we're going to have to give them the right sort of uh, materials in order to be better players and, and certainly to affect the tip of the pyramid. But what Megal has done, he's got a group of players together, he's grown that belief over, listen let's be honest, some really poor performances and really you know at times we looked as if you know we weren't going to win games but you know I think the trip to America was crucial for him he got a group together they formed that hub if you like of and, and confidence grew from that and listen it's about winning games they went into the first games and I thought they were outstanding you know, particularly in the first game if you look at the first goal against Hungary it's 20 odd passes Louis mm -hmm. and it's a, a culminating in a wonderful finish and you know that gives everyone a lift there's a belief growing but Jim, you talk about belief as well too. Like you know, two years ago, uh, Michael and Northern Ireland couldn't win an argument. Mm. Uh, it, it, luck as well plays its mm. part, and then with, with luck comes confidence. As you say, whenever yep. Healy was on the park, we always felt that Northern Ireland were going to get a chance mm. to score. And as a result, then it's 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 not rocket science. You know, you can coach mm. all you want, but if luck's not on your side, yeah. we're getting a wee bit of rub, you know a wee bit of the rub of the green now. Yeah, which certainly helps, and especially at international level, where those little bits. Of luck, if they go your say, uh, go on your side, then you win games, and and with winning games, there is confidence. And the most important thing in any of our setups is is breeding that confidence and making it grow into what we're seeing now. These boys are going into games believing they can win through a structure set down by the manager, through a shape that's set down by the manager, and being driven by every every member of staff, the team behind the team of your leg. He's, he's assembled a wonderful group of people who are working with the players constantly, consistently, consistent messages through the whole team and every squad I've been involved in is, listen, hard work, hard graft, organisation, set plays, a lot of the things that Megal would have probably grown up as I grew up through our first international manager in Billy Bingham. A lot of the things that were you know, central to his successful squads were his organisation and his set plays. And obviously the individual talent that they he had at his disposal. And also I would say to you too as well, when you look at it, through the spine of the team, as mm -hmm. I would call it, so much experience, you know, when you go from the likes of Macaulay, mm -hmm. when you go to the likes, you know, Evans, then you go into Davis for me, who makes the team tick and yeah. always has, I think, listen, yeah. you know, and but when I'm talking to you as well, you'll be able to tell me about, about his injury and hopefully he'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have a seasoned professional core there. Yeah. And a very quiet bunch of lads compared to, let's say, a few non iron teams, yeah. which we will, yeah. we shall remain nameless, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, uh, you couldn't get a word in Andrews in the squads I was in. But certainly, yeah, agreed. And and Mega masterstroke Roy Carl too, bringing Roy Carl back into the international. Hey, a player who always wanted to play it for non iron Yeah, which is very important. Too. Which is very important and in a crucial position, uh, albeit he'd not want to watch that goal again. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, no, he's brought that experience. The spine of the team is very strong. You supplement that around the fringes of you know talented boys. Jimmy Ward has grown as the as the uh, uh, the tournament has has progressed and. Uh, the likes of McGinnis matured because he's, yeah. got, he's got a steady run now with Aberdeen. When he was with Celtic, he was in and out of the team. Yeah. And it just goes to show you when you get a steady run, he's now a bit of a, you know, he's almost one of the top names in Aberdeen and it's showing in his in his play. And Megal's shown great faith in him too, which again gives a player confidence that he knows that he can come into an international setup and play. And that's very important. But more again, more importantly, is those players that are in and around the fringes. that You can feel that their togetherness, you can feel as if uh, that they're all in it together and they all want to listen who doesn't want to play in an international major tournament we've never played in the European Championships for the first time if it happens in, in the history of the association so you know for the likes of Aaron Hughes Macaulay mm -hmm. 
Davis, Brunt, Carl, you know, these players would have done anything to have played for Northern Ireland, represented Northern Ireland in a major tournament. They're not going to get a better chance. You're mentioning players there, like that, and then I think back to the likes of Chris Bird, who almost yeah. is a, a, a renaissance under yeah. Michael O'Neill, who's shown faith in him as well. Yeah. And he's playing, he's playing as, as good as he's ever played for Northern Yeah, and a lad that's not playing regularly at club level, but again is crucial in the system that Megal employs at international level. And Megal, yes, has shown great faith in him. And in all fairness, Chris Baird is, uh, you know, that faith has been replicated through him, through his performances. So, you know, listen, touch wood. You know, we're in a position now where uh, prior to this, uh, this major championships, would we, have, would we have ever envisaged being here? No. But through discipline and through real quality and a little bit of luck, we see ourselves now in a position where, you know, Romania is is mouthwatering proposition.